This is an easy game night for Shelby Justice. 9.30, leaving Worthen Arena with her family. And the next morning's just another day. But it isn't always that normal. It definitely takes a toll on your body, and especially when we have Wednesday night games and we get home at like 2, 2.30 at night and then having to turn around and get up at 5.30 and go to the hospital for a 12 hour a day. There's some days I just feel for her because she'll come home and she's just like, I can't study. I have got to go to bed. Like she has to rest her mind because she's been up going to clinical all day, goes to practice, doesn't get home until 8 o'clock at night. Shelby Justice is the poster child for student athlete, the heart and soul senior leader of the Ball State women's basketball team, and a member of one of the university's most rigorous majors, nursing. Here is the epitome of what the NCAA champions, we have to hear about You know, some of these people that shouldn't even be in the news, and yet the best story out of all of them is somebody that is doing what Shelby Justice is doing. I can't imagine having to balance the schedule that she's had to balance and be successful. Like she has a basketball schedule is practically nearly impossible. There's weights and practices sometimes moved to accommodate justice. Six o'clock in the morning, sometimes we did late practices. They hate late practices because it pretty much ruins their evening. Then there's games and travel, and that's where it gets tricky. Let's say she doesn't get home till 2 or 2.30. Then she has to be back at the hospital at 6 or 6.30 for a 12-hour day. Not much sleep, taking care of really sick patients. And I try to sleep on the bus, but sleeping on the bus is just not easy to do. There's your coursework too. You need to study three to four hours per every credit hour. For this critical care class, the first week we were in class for like 25 hours. Okay, so take a step back for a second and let's try to wrap our heads around Justice's entire schedule. It's 20 hours of basketball a week, including two games, usually one of which is on the road. Then there's 15 to 20 hours of studying and homework, developing care plans for her 12 hour clinical, or depending on the semester, maybe two eight-hour clinicals. That comes along with a lecture, could be two hours, three hours, could be five hours, like it is this semester. And then on top of that, maybe there's a couple of other classes. And Shelby Justice has no ordinary classes. So this is one of our sim guys that we have to, for simulations. You can listen to his heart sounds, his lung sounds. You can actually check his blood pressure, and you can also actually feel his pulses on here. And he'll actually talk to you if you talk to him. So, how are you feeling today? Very hot. Do you have a fever? Yes. Are you having any pain? Yes, I'm having pain in my right ankle. They can have a whole bunch of different types of sims. We have diabetes sims, heart failure sims. We could simulate if he's having swelling in his legs or he needs a catheter or IVs here. And don't even think about just gliding by because virtually anything less than a B, you fail. We're taking care of people, so we want people to know what they're doing and do a good job. Like, you've got to keep them alive, so that's kind of pretty serious stuff. <laughs> stuff that interested Justice early on. The daughter of an EMT with a lifelong knack for helping others. But she's certainly had her moments along this journey. The times her goals seemed out of grasp. There would be many nights I'd get a phone call from her and she would say, Mom, I just can't do this. I just can't. She goes, I'm failing. And I mean, she would have a meltdown. Most of the time it consists of me just crying pretty much, blowing my eyes out, telling her I can't do this. There's been many a times that she would say, I'm going up there. I'm going. I said, no, just let her work it out. It'll be okay. I broke down to Claire. I broke down to Brandy, Shannon sometimes. That's like your support system, so you rely on them, and they help you like get back up, or your confidence back up. Justice will become just the second basketball player in a decade to graduate a nursing major from Ball State. But what's most amazing is that you'd never know what she's put into it. Her facade and demeanor drive. They never change. And that's something everyone notices. Shelby Justice, uh, I designated her in our pregame talk as the X Factor for them, even though Fontaine gets all the notoriety. When she graduates, um, there's going to be a hole. And, and I don't think anybody understands how deep that hole is. We will be able to refer to the Shelby Justice way for years to come um, with, with these young ladies because there's no better way I would ever want the game played. Uh, than the way she does it. It's nuts, and, uh, but she handles it beautifully. I mean, somehow she, she does it. But only for a few more weeks. 
Justice is guaranteed just a couple more games as a college basketball player with a seven week capstone after. I'll follow a particular nurse for their work schedule and I actually got assigned to um, Riverview and Noblesville in the emergency department so I'm really looking forward to that and then after that's complete I'll have a her, it's called a Hearst review to um, help review for the state boards that we have to take before we get our license and then graduation. She's been playing basketball since she's been in kindergarten and this is this is the final stage. I mean it's just it's incredible. Clinicals and nursing and a thousand career points and not a publicly visible clue of what it all took. Incredible. Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.